the Minneapolis Park and Recreation Board used a $1 million grant from the Excel Energy Renewable Development Fund to demonstrate the benefits of solar energy, our most abundant and cleanest renewable energy source. With three indoor ice rinks operating year-round, Parade Ice Arena uses the most energy of any Minneapolis Parks facility, which is why it was chosen for the largest solar project in Minneapolis Parks, providing about 15% of the arena's power needs and saving taxpayers about $20,000 each year. The solar project was paired with energy efficiency renovations. Combined, they offset 642 tons of annual CO2 emissions. That's equivalent to removing 136 cars from the road. Weber Natural Swimming Pool is the first public natural swimming pool in North America. Natural swimming pools do not use any chemicals. Instead, all 500,000 gallons of the pool's water pumps through a network of filters at an adjacent pond, called a regeneration basin, every 12 hours. The regeneration basin is full of aquatic plants that clean the pool's water naturally. The natural pool was a perfect choice for solar power. Now solar energy helps power the pumps that keep the pool clean. The East Phillips Cultural and Community Center opened in 2011. The 14,000 square foot building is the most energy efficient recreation center in Minneapolis. It's also one of the busiest recreation centers in the city. A new solar awning is visible from the playground and helps make the rec center even more efficient. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Park is home to a new playground that highlights African American inventors. It also contains the Treehouse, a special facility supporting Minneapolis Park's youth employment and career readiness initiatives. A new solar array is mounted on the roof of the multipurpose room, inspiring a new generation to consider the possibilities of renewable energy. Lake Nokomis Main Beach is one of the most popular destinations in Minneapolis parks, featuring activities like swimming, paddling, log rolling, and sailing. The Nokomis Hiawatha Master Plan, approved in 2015, called for more shade by the beach. This summer, a new solar canopy was built next to the beach to provide that much needed shade, while also generating renewable energy. The Minneapolis Park and Recreation Board, building a greener city 